complex movements of the spine to develop the flip grip technique for leverage backbends. Namaste everyone. Welcome to another episode of On The Mat and Circuit Breaker Measures still in place in Singapore, so I am still going to be shooting these episodes from home. Incorporating poses from last week's uh, practice in school, last week we focused on what is the flip grip backbend, which is a technique of uh, moving yourself into an overhand grip for leverage backbends. In the basic class, we covered the Natarajasana or Dancer pose, this essential level class, we did a King Pigeon, which is the Ekapada Raja Kapod Asana. And then in intermediate class, uh, we did the very challenging side plank variation called the Ka Partridge Pose or Kapin Jalasana, all of which will be incorporated into a 45 minute sequence that will be a beautiful way of really, really opening up your spine. Today's practice would really benefit if you could have a strap with you. And those of us that do not have a yoga strap can improvise by using a scarf or a towel or maybe even get creative with your dirty laundry. Okay, so let's begin our practice. Our practice today will explore the movement capability of your spine in three planes. Forwards and backwards, side to side, and twisting which will then lead to a sequence that will incorporate all three planes of movement into complex expressions. Finally, leading us towards the full movement of the flip grip, which requires then the full range of motion in the entire body. Start by focusing on the air that is entering and leaving the body from moment to moment. With every inhale, can you think about lengthening the crown of the head up towards the ceiling to create space between the vertebrae and maintaining that length exhale to guide the tailbone downwards towards the mat, creating even more length. And again, inhale, lengthening upwards to sit straighter and sit taller. And on the exhale, as you lengthen the tailbone downwards, you are creating firmness and foundation. Inhale, expansion of the rib cage in all directions. And exhale, pulling the navel inwards to give a firmness in the lower belly and pelvic floor. Like this, we breathe. Inhale, expanding the rib cage. And exhale, as you draw the navel in, you create a firmness in the lower belly and pelvic floor. Next, inhale, start to move as you breathe. Inhale, lift the chin up as you roll, shoulders back and open the heart in a gentle back bend. Exhale, drop chin down to the chest and send the shoulders forwards to explore, carefully rounding your back. And again, inhale to open the chest and open the shoulders, lifting the chin. Exhale, drop the chin down, shoulders come forwards, back is rounding. Good. Inhale to explore, spinal extension, gentle back bend. Exhale, explores the spinal flexion, the rounding of the back. Inhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, one, two, three, four, and five. Next, inhale, bigger movement now as you start to lift the arms overhead. Exhale, with length, come all the way down to the mat in front of you. Inhale, use strong back muscles and lift arms overhead. Exhale, with length, we come down again. Connecting the breath with the movement. Inhale. Good. Feel the movement in each and every vertebrae. Exhale, come forward, lift length all the way to the mat. Inhale, rising up again. Let's prepare now to twist your body. Exhale, twisting to the left. So bring the right hand to the left knee. Left hand on the mat behind you. Keep the spine straight. Inhale and twist. Send both arms upwards. 
Good. Follow with your gaze. Exhale, twisting to the right. Left hand, right knee. Right hand behind you. Inhale as you untwist, sending the arms upwards again. Exhale. This is a spinal rotation. Maybe send your left arm back for a half bound expression. Inhale, arms up again. Good. Exhale, perhaps you deepen the twist with a half bind with the right arm. And that'll do. Inhale, arms upwards. And let's add to this movement. Exhale, first you twist to the left. And then with the inhale, take the left arm up and over to the right. And you are exploring side stretching. Lateral flexion of your spine. Focusing here on extending the top arm or take the option of bending the elbow and resting the hand behind your neck so that by lifting the head gently, you can assist the openness of the left shoulder. One more option, perhaps you grab the elbow with the opposite hand, maximizing the stretch on the left side of the body. Good. Take one more breath. And with the next inhale again, extending both arms upwards. And exhale, begin to twist to the right. Twisting the right. And when you're ready, inhale, extend the right arm up and over to the left. And you aside, stretching again. Staying here or bringing the hand behind the head. Stay here or clasping the elbow with the opposite hand. Find a way to open up the side of your body. And incorporate a beautiful shoulder stretch. And stay here. Three. Two. And one. Let's release. Arms upwards. Inhale. And on the exhale, we can come now forwards to a table top pose, which is a hands and knees position on the mat. From table top, arch your spine by lifting the chin as you lift the tailbone. And on the exhale, elbows bend to lower the chest down to the mat, but keep the hips high. In Astanga Pranam, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, lie flat on the mat and gently peel the heart of the mat in a baby cobra. Keep elbows hugging close. Exhale, push back. Child's pose position on the mat. Stay with the breath. Inhale, rock forwards again and arch your body to find cow pose. Exhale, elbows bend slowly, lower chest down, chin forward and hips high. Astanga Pranam. Inhale as you lower to the mat and as you lift the heart upwards. This time take the option of lifting the hands off the mat. Exhale, pushing back gently to find child's pose position again. One more round, rock forwards to cow pose. Inhale. Elbows bent lower to the mat. Exhale. Lie flat and then inhale. Let's try a higher cobra this time. Staying with the hips on the mat as you open up as high as the lower back allows you to go. Exhale, twisting cobra. Have the left shoulder move back and gaze towards your left foot. Inhale, reset, looking upwards. And exhale, twist to the right, gazing at your right leg. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, deepen the twist. Try to gaze at the opposite foot as best as you can. Inhale, untwist. Stay with the spine open. Exhale, twisting as deep as you can in the opposite side. One breath to explore an upward facing dog. The elevated hips with the strong engagement of the muscles in the back. The heart pull forwards between the gateway of the arms. And exhale to downward facing dog position, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take a moment to paddle out your feet, left and right heels and toes. With one knee bent, the opposite leg straight and we are gently switching and switching. Allow the movement of the hips swaying side to side like a dog, wagging a tail, maybe one shoulder towards the mat at a time. When you're ready, come up and tiptoes on the inhale, hips high. On the exhale, bring heels down to the mat and find your perfect down dog shape. Now gaze at your knees or gaze at your navel. Connect with your ujjayi, the sound of the breath like the ocean. 
Create your ujjayi with a gentle restriction in the throat to regulate your breathing, making the inhale just as deep and active and loud as the exhale. Staying like this in the flow of your breathing. Now come up and tiptoes, inhale. Exhale, knees to chest, looking forwards. Next, inhale, left foot, right foot steps to the front. In a halfway lift, look up and spine straight. Exhale, fold, belly towards thigh, chest towards knee, chin towards chin. Inhale, out to the ceiling, reach upwards. And then bring the hands down to the mat in a forward bend, Uttanasana. Good, stay with your breath, halfway lift, inhale. And as you step your left foot back, exhale, keeping it straight, let's do a high lunge. Inhale, open chest, open shoulders. Good. And bring hands down to the mat as you step the right foot back, plank pose. Now lower the knees down first and keep the hips high. Astanga Pranam, inhale, cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. Stay with the breath, tiptoes up on the inhale. And step the left foot forward to the front, exhale. And with the strong front leg, lift, extending the arms in high lunge. Exhale, the back foot steps forward to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. And with the next inhale, using your strong back muscles to lift up, open chest, open shoulders. Exhale, with length, we come down. Inhale, stay with your breath, look up. The spine is almost a back bend here. Right foot back, exhale, prepare for your lunge. Inhale, strong front leg, straight back leg, arms up. Exhale, step back and lower knees down, hips high, chest and chin. Inhale, beautiful cobra, expansion into the outward curve. Exhale, rock back, straight spine, downward facing dog. Inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, right foot stepping forwards to the front. Inhale, rising for a high lunge pose. Good. Exhale, the back foot steps forward. We are again at the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, using strong back muscles. Again, lift up, open chest, open shoulders. And stay with the breath. Exhale. Now there are different variations for this round. Keep an ear out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, stepping left foot back, high lunge pose. So inhale as you open the arms upwards. This time turn towards the right, arms extending to find a beautiful twist. Inhale, take the left arm up, opening left side body. Good, exhale both hands down. You will take the right foot back, up and over to try to bring the foot towards head and head towards foot like a scorpion. Exhale, then extend the right leg to three, like a dog position. And inhale, send the right leg through to the front of the mat between the hands, rising up for another lunge. Exhale, in this round you have the hands with the heart balanced on the four corners of the right foot. Set the foot forward and inhale, arms up, open chest, open shoulders. Exhale, come down to the mat again. Good, and take a halfway lift, inhale. And set the right foot back, exhale. Rise to a high lunge pose. Inhale. And begin to twist again. Exhale, broad, broad across your shoulders. Inhale the right side body, nice and open. And exhale as you bring hands down, step front, foot back to plank pose. But keep the leg high as you try to bring foot towards head and head towards foot. Exhale, kick that leg to a three-legged dog position. Inhale, send that left leg through to the front of the mat and with an open chest, extend the arms upwards. Exhale, bring hands to the heart, find the balance, create a perfect T-shape. Inhale, back foot steps forward to the front, arms up and exhale, come down again. Good, one more round, inhale, look up. Exhale, left foot back, high lunge pose. Inhale, open chest, open shoulders. Exhale, twisting to the right, arms extending. Inhale, left arm up. You might even touch your back leg with the right hand. 
Exhale, circle the hands forward, it comes down, and the right foot goes back. Inhale, head towards foot and hood towards head. Exhale, send the leg back to three-legged dog. Inhale, set the leg through to the front of the mat and rise upwards. Exhale, hands at the heart, find the balance with your gaze. Back leg can come forward to the front, inhale, arms open. Good, and come down to the mat, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot step back. Inhale, high lunge pose. Exhale, twisting to the left, arms extending. Inhale, reverse this. Beautiful. Exhale, the hands come down to the mat. The left foot goes back, up, and over towards the head and the head lifts. Exhale, kicking to three-legged dog. Inhale, send that left leg through to the front, arms up, high lunge. Exhale, and find the balance in a warrior three shape. Step forward, inhale, arms upwards. And exhale, forward bending. Inhale, halfway lifting. And exhale. Now take the next few breaths. In Uttanasana, standing forward bend, taking the option to leverage yourself deeper by clasping the ankles of the feet and even you hug your elbows behind your knees. Stay with the belly glued towards the thigh, the lift of the tailbone and the spread of the sit bones. And then when you're ready, arms upwards again, inhale. And stepping that left foot out, facing the left side of the mat, exhale. Prasarita position, your feet are parallel and about three feet apart. So for the next practice, we will incorporate the use of your strap, your towel, your scarf, or your laundry. Hold with a distance of about two shoulder widths. Keep the tension in the strap as you lift the arms up, inhale. And now carefully move the arms back behind you, exhale to create that shoulder dislocate. Inhale, lift the arms up again. Exhale slowly with the breath come forwards. Try again, inhale, rise up. Exhale, stay present as you move the arms down behind you. Inhale, lift up. Good, and exhale, come forward. So adjust the distance of the straps so that you gain the appropriate level of intensity of this stretch. Inhale, up. And exhale, this time fold from the hip, and as you come down, send the arms back behind you. Inhale, as you lift the arms up, start to lift the body back to standing position again. Good, and let's try this again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, as you bring arms behind you, forward bending. Inhale as you lift the arms up and forward, send the body up again. Very nice. Did you get that movement? Let's try again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward bend. The arms go back behind you. Inhale, the arms lift and the body brings itself back up again. So you incorporate the dislocation movement with folding forward and rising up. Inhale, up. Now stay holding the ends of the strap as we start to incorporate some standing poses. Turning to the right, right toes point forward, stack the knee above the ankle of the foot and square the hips for warrior one. In warrior one, take the right arm down and back behind you and you can bend the left arm and bring the hand behind the head. Good. Stay with your open, open chest and left shoulder and explore extending both arms backwards behind you. And do this with the breath. Exhale, the elbows bend. Inhale, the arms extend. Again, exhale, pull downwards with the right arm. And inhale, while you pull downwards, lengthen the left arm. Third one, try this again. Good, and straighten out left arm. Inhale, feel the stretching of the front body. Exhale, pull downwards, left elbow bends. Inhale, straighten that left arm out and find the expansion feeling in the front body. Exhale, warrior two. Now turn to the left. Stay with the strong front leg and straight back leg. And bring the arms down to your left side for a reverse warrior. 
Stay with the tension in the strap and pull down with the left arm to create the stretch in the right side of the body. Take a few breaths here, finding that length. And on the exhale, side angle pose, bend your left arm, bring the right hand down to the mat supporting. Good, you create that straight line from the left heel to the elbow. And if you can, even explore extending that left arm. Staying connected with the strap to create a tension that is going to open up your shoulder beautifully. Good. Now see if the front leg can straighten to make your transition to Uthida Trikonasana. See if the arms can still be straight. Breathe, revolving the body upwards, and even you try tucking the bottom hip under a little bit more. And now you can slowly, slowly make your way forwards or back so that the right hand is stacked underneath the shoulder as you balance on the four corners of the right foot. Make a straight line today on the left side body from the toes to the fingers in an Ardha Chandrasana variation, half moon balancing pose. And take the option if you wish, you can release the strap now to hold the ankle of the foot and kicking the foot back behind the body as you send the body forward in the counter direction to maintain your balance here. And find the expression of Chapasana, your sugar cane pose. Staying with an open, open chest. And open, open hips. And slowly release. Gently bring ourselves back up again to Prasarita position, legs wide apart, feet parallel. Good. Clasping the strap again at the appropriate distance. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, warrior one, turn now to the left side. Square the hips, actively bring the left hip back, right hip forward, back heel grounding inwards towards the center line of the mat. And then bring that left arm down firmly to open up the right shoulder, right hand behind the head. Good. And when you're ready, Gently, gently extend the right arm while pulling down with the left to find a beautiful shoulder stretch and work with the breathing. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right elbow bends. Left arm pulls downwards. Maintain the pull. Inhale, right arm straight. Feel the length of the body. Exhale, left arm pull downwards. Inhale, while pull downwards, right arm straight. Front line is stretching. Good. Exhale, bring that left arm down again. One more breath. Inhale, open fully. Good. Exhale, warrior two. Turning to the right. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Keep pulling down to maximize the length of the left side body. Stretching of the left side body. Beautiful, beautiful use of the strap today. Incorporating it into our flow practice. Exhale, gently, gently bring the Left hand down, bring the right hand behind the head. Find a variation of Parasva Konasana, side angle pose. Take your option, maybe still maintaining the tension of the strap. And you can start to explore lengthening the right arm. So that from the right fingers to the right foot, you are creating that beautiful feeling of length and openness in the body. Good. Now, if triangle pose is not accessible to you like this because of tightness in the hips, you might not use the strap at this point. Instead, supporting with the left hand on the ankle or shin instead of directly on the mat. And then when you're ready to transition to Ardha Chandrasana, look down, bending front leg, walk the left hand forward or take the left foot back. Give about a two feet distance between hand and foot and then balance on that left leg as you lift up your right. Revolve the body. You stay with an open, open left hip. One straight line again from the left fingertips to the toes. Beautifully maintaining the tension of the strap or well then take your option to release the strap and instead you grab the ankle of the foot kicking back your leg today. In sugar cane pose or chapasana. Good. As you kick the leg back, send the heart forwards. Incorporate then the entire length of your body in this beautiful, complex, leveraged move. 
Stay for one more breath. And that will do. Stepping back to Prasarita position. Step to the front of the mat. Lift the arms up. Inhale. As you forward bend on the exhale, place the strap down at a convenient place. We will still need it later. Take a halfway lift. Inhale. And forward bend. Exhale. Rising up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Give the arms a big beautiful stretching upwards. Exhale back down to the mat. Once more, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, use your strong back muscles, and this is a gentle back bend. Lift the heart, arms reach for something behind you. Exhale, forward bend. One more time, inhale, look up. And exhale, deepen the bend. Maintain length in the spine. Inhale, expansion into the outward curve. Go as deep as you can into Anuvitasana. But keep the lower back supported with the lift of the heart. Keep drawing the tailbone downwards. Use your strong legs. And that will do. Exhale, fall. Good. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, just lift upwards. And come down to the heart on the exhale. Now prepare for a balancing pose. Inhale, lifting and spreading the toes on the right foot. Root down to the four corners, exhale, bringing the toes down and finding stability. And then lift the left knee up to the chest. Good, and grab the left big toe with the peace fingers and the thumb. Ensure the squareness and levelness of hips and shoulders. Inhale, extends you to Udhida Hasta Padangustasana. Stay with the straight leg, but you can also keep it bent if there is any tightness in hamstrings. Spine needs to be vertical, shoulders are square. Good. Next transition, ensure the knee is on the inside as you swing the arm back. Now transfer the grip so that you're holding at the ankle of the foot. And take the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, start to kick back that leg, allowing the body to counterbalance, coming down deep into your dancer pose, Natarajasana. Ensure that as you bring the body down, you counter this by lifting up the right shoulder to awaken all your strong back muscles. And that will do. Gently release down to the mat. Please ground the hands because now we want to make a fancy transition. Jumping and switching. Right shin comes down in front of you. Good. And settle down to a pigeon pose. So please check that your back leg is parallel with the long side of the mat. Your right foot is in an appropriate distance from the hip. Left and right hips should be level and squared. And square the hips by bringing the left hip forward, right hip back. When you're ready, left hand reach back for the foot. You want to press the foot downwards towards the side of the hip to give a stretching of the hip flexor and quad. If you can, the fingers facing the same direction as the toes can help you open up more the left shoulder. And lastly, this is a move towards Kuntasana or Spear Pose by holding the foot with the opposite hand in a twist and extending the left arm back like a spear. Good. Now incorporating the pose we practiced in last week's essential level class is to take ourselves to the King Pigeon Pose, which is Ekapada Raja Kapod Asana. Those of us that wish will be using the strap to grasp the foot. The distance of the strap is about half your shoulder width. This. And then by holding on to the foot, rotate the body forward. This is a full movement of the entire length of the body. And as you send that left shoulder forward, bring the left elbow forwards and up. And then now find length in the left side body as you keep the elbow close to the side of the head. First think about lengthening that left arm by strongly kicking the leg back away from the body and that helps you to open up the chest. And then when you're ready, bring the foot in closer towards the head. Start to lift the right arm up, holding the left forearm to crawl the hand down until both hands have a good grasp on the foot. In brief, now it is important to maintain the length in both sides of the body, so stay grounding in your pigeon pose foundation as you try to bring foot to head and lift the chin, opening the throat, trying to touch the head to the foot. Good. 
Beautiful job. Let's take the next few breaths now. Resting in a reclining pigeon. Maintain the lengthening of your spine. Avoid too much rounding or flexion. Next, rise up gently and prepare yourself for your next transition. Moving yourself to a side plank shape, so support it on the left palm or take the option to come down onto the left forearm. Turning to the right, you step the right foot to the corner of the mat so that you can grasp the big toe with the peace fingers and thumb. As you turn to the right, lifting the right leg up, you can take the option to keep the knee bent like so. Or if you feel ready to extend the leg fully, extend and swing the leg outward strongly. And stay strong with that left shoulder foundation, keeping the height of the hips. As you exhale, set the foot down on the mat behind you. Keep high and chest open. Inhale, reach with the right arm for Kamatkarasana, while thing pose. And then exhale. Choose to do a vinyasa here or just take your option to arrive at a downward facing dog position. Downward facing dog. Good. Coming up and tiptoes, inhale. Bringing knees to chest, looking forwards, exhale. Inhale to walk, jump or float to the front. Exhale to forward bend, come down. Inhale, rising up towards the ceiling, reaching the arms upwards. And exhale, hands to the heart again. Prepare for one more round of this. Again, start by establishing Padabandha on the left foot. Inhale, lift and spread your toes. Root down to the four corners of the foot. Exhale, you bring all five toes down and stay active in the arch of the left foot. Inhale, right knee lift. Correcting any module malfunction. And then grabbing the big toe with the peace fingers and thumb with the right hand. Take a breath in and lengthen the leg forward. And if the knee is bent, it is bent. If your leg is tucked, it is tucked. But if you can, fully extend the leg for the expression of Uthida Hasta Padang Agustasana. Good. Again, finding your transition to Natarajasana. Mindful to keep the knee in the inside of this swing. You take the hand back behind you. You grab from the inside at the ankle of the foot. Inhale, lift the left arm upwards. Exhale, firm kick of the right leg. Backwards and upwards. So mindful here, as you lift the right leg upwards, you are not lifting the right hip. You keep the hip squared as best as you can. And mindful here, as the body comes down to counterbalance you, my you incorporate the lift of your left shoulder to stay with your strong back muscles. And when you're ready, maintain the balance. Slowly come down to the mat. Jump and switch. Okay, Brian, that was really heavy. And come to pigeon pose. The angle of the front shin appropriate for the openness of your hips so that you can level and square the hips. Just a guide, if you wish, you can place something underneath your left sit bone. That is a way to help to support your pigeon pose. Now bring the right foot in, holding with the right hand. Try to bring the heel of the foot as close to the side of the hip towards the mat as you can. If you can, even turn the grip so the fingers face the same direction as the toes and lift the elbow and feeling the stretching of the right shoulder. Kundasana, take the option then to hold the foot with the opposite hand in a twist and extending the right hand and extending your gaze to the back of the mat like a spear. Good, Kundasana means spear pose. And then when you're ready, flipping the grip so the flip grip is to flex the foot and point your toes outwards. As you reach back with the right hand, reach with palm facing upwards, reach under the foot and try grabbing the ball of the inner arch. And then the flip grip movement is to bring the right shoulder forward as you try lifting the right elbow upwards, sending the arm as close to the side of your head as you can. As you flip, you might be twisting the body, side bending the body, a very complex movement. But once you have completed that, clean up the alignment. 
we gain the length in the right side body. Take the first few breaths. Firmly kick the foot away from the head. And then take the next few breaths. Incorporating the left arm in your full overhand grip. And working to try to bring the foot towards the head and head towards foot. Some of us can even bring the sole of the foot to the head. Maybe even the heel touching. Or even deeper than that. Breath by breath explore the extent to which you can. Leverage yourself deep into this practice. And when you're ready, release slowly. Take a few breaths reclining. And stay feeling the effects of that beautiful leverage back bend. Flip grip back bend. Incorporating the very complex movement of your spine. The body working as an interconnected whole. Movement in the hips, spine, shoulders. When you're ready, supporting yourself now on the right palm, right arm straight, right shoulder strong, or come down to the forearm. Peace fingers and thumb grabbing the left big toe. Turn now to face the left side of the mat and inhale, keeping the leg in a tuck position or explore extending it upwards for Vashisthasana number two. Side plank variation two with the hip high, chest open and the grounding as best as you can in the right foot. Supported by your strong, strong shoulder foundation. Setting the foot down behind you. Inhale, extending with the left arm for the front of the mat. Kamat Karasana. Exhale, you might do a vinyasa or just choose to arrive directly to downward facing dog position. Good, and from down dog, inhale, tiptoes. Exhale, lower the knees down to find child's pose on the mat. And work with your breath from child's pose. Inhale. Bring yourself back to cow pose. Then gentle hands and knees back bend. And from cow pose to child's pose. Exhale. Connecting breath with movement. Inhale. Rock the body forwards again. Find a lift of the chin as you lift the tailbone. Exhale. Rock back fully. Child's pose position. Arms extending forwards. Again with your breath. Inhale. Arch and open. Beautiful. Exhale. Lengthening the spine, the head comes down. Inhale, rock forward and let's find Parigasana, gate pose position. Swing the right foot out gently and extend your left leg. Support it again on the right palm, just like a side plank. Using the strap now, about the distance of half your shoulders, loop the foot and the palm face upwards. Pull the foot in as close to the shoulder as you can and then make that same flip grip movement we did from King Pigeon. And facilitated by the strap, the movement becomes easier and more accessible. Now rotate the body upwards. Good. And find as much length as you can on the left side body. Lowering that left knee, bringing that left arm as close to the side of the head as you can. Lift the chin. Try to bring head to foot, foot towards head. And exhale, release, come down slowly. Tabletop pose. From tabletop to child's pose. Exhale. From child's pose to cow pose. Inhale, movement of your spine. Back to child's pose. Exhale. Stay connected with Ujjayi. Rock forward, inhale. Good, and back to child's pose. Exhale. Let's do one more rock forward and then swing the left foot out. Keep the left knee towards the center line of the mat. Support it on the left hand here as you extend the right foot. Again with the strap about half shoulder width distance. Loop the foot and hold firmly with the right hand palm facing upwards. Pull the foot strongly behind the body towards the right shoulder and that should allow you to lift the right elbow forwards and up bringing the arm to the side of the head. And then create the length on the right side body as best as you can. Pull, trying to bring head towards foot and foot towards head. And keep everything open in this position. Good. This is a baby Kapina Jalasana, a baby variation of the partridge pose. When you're ready, exhale, release. Gently without dropping that leg, please. Unhook the strap. Two options here. Option one, continue to work from tabletop. Option two, rise now to downward facing dog. 
Support it on the right hand as you flip your grip again, left hand to left foot, working with the foot directly like in the king pigeon or using a strap. Find a full expression of Kapina Jalasana. And again, just a reminder, this can be done with your knee on the mat again and with the use of a strap. Find a variation that works for your practice. Revolving upwards is challenging, but stay present in your breath. And as you release, do one more vinyasa or arriving at downward facing dog. Good. And from downward facing dog, one more practice. Again, do this from tabletop with a strap or with straight legs to explore the side plank variation, the full variation, Kapinjalasana, partridge pose. So here holding directly the foot with the hand or use a strap. Bring the foot in close to the shoulder, send elbow forward and lift. Look up to try to bring head towards foot, foot towards head. Final movement is to try to revolve the body upwards as best as possible in this pose. Stay connected with the breathing. Good. Very beautiful. And gently release when you are ready. Good. One vinyasa. Or downward facing dog position on the mat. From downward facing dog, inhale, come up on tiptoes. Exhale, knees to chest looking forwards. Jumping your way through to the front. Land in the seated pose and roll back to lie in supine. Face up on the mat with the knees to the chest in a tuck position. Feeling the release in the lower back, regaining the length in the spine, the space between the vertebrae. Feeling the effect of such compound movements today. And we are going into a gentle reclining twist, so crossing the left leg over the right leg. Or you can just do this with your knees together. Bring the legs down to the right side of the mat as you spread out your left arm. Please ensure the grounding of the left shoulder. And even the head rolls to the left, so the neck is also twisting. Stay with the breath. And when you're ready, release and untwist, bringing it back to the center again, crossing the legs the opposite way, right over left, and twist to the left, or stay with your knees together only. Spreading out the right arm, the head rolls to the right. And soften the breath. We are near the ending of our practice now. And as you release, let's prepare for our inversion. Extending the legs upwards with the knees slightly bent and the soles of the feet facing the ceiling. Additionally, you can support the hands underneath the hips. Viparita Karani or gentle inversion. Stay here or take your option to roll the hips up and over the shoulders. Allows you to touch your toes to the mat behind you to find Halasana or Plow Pose. In Halasana, establish the foundation in shoulders and triceps by clasping the hands together behind you and as you squeeze the elbow shoulder blades together, careful gentle rocking motion to tuck those shoulders under the chest. Stay with the length in the neck and the length in your spine, the length in your legs. And always looking upwards in this pose, never turn your head left or right, protect your neck. If you feel comfortable lifting to shoulders then, support the back with the hands, keep elbows hugging close. And lift the legs up one at a time or both together. Active to lengthen upwards to the ceiling through your toes. And also mindful to hug your legs inwards towards each other. Now lower the body down, one vertebrae at a time. Upper back, middle back, lower back. Legs come down. And lying face up on the mat with your arms and legs. Spread comfortably wide with toes outwards. 
heels inwards, palms facing upwards, and eyes gently closing to find corpse pose or shavasana. Take rest. Thank you then for joining my practice today. And continue to find joy in the body and peace in the heart. Namaste and see you soon.